Greetings, everyone. I welcome you to worship on this Sunday, December 27th, the first Sunday after Christmas. I welcome you to this pre-recorded service. Traditionally, our service of lessons and carols happens on Christmas Eve in the afternoon. It's one of our biggest services that is led by our faith choir and our director, Aaron Olson, and we sincerely miss our choir in this time of COVID, but we wanted to bring you a service of lessons and carols, and it is pre-recorded in order to give our staff and volunteers a Sunday off, and so we come to you with joy, with peace, with love, and hope in our hearts, and hope that you enjoy this service. At this time, we will hear our gathering carol, Angels We Have Heard on High. I now invite you to join me for the prayer of the day and please pray with me. It may seem naive in a world of grief to choose to live in joy. It may seem foolish in a world where solemnity is power to sing and dance to a different tune. It may seem cruel in a world suffering and injustice to speak of light and celebration. But you have come, Jesus, to bring joy into our grief, light into our darkness, singing into our mourning. And it is an act of healing and proclamation to believe and embrace the joy you offer. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Alleluia. Amen. And our first reading is from Micah chapter 5. It's verses 2 through 5. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth and the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be one of peace. Thy 
Our next reading comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 35 and 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your room and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Our third reading comes from Luke 2, 8 through 16. Have you ever been invited to something special? Maybe a birthday party or a fun camping trip or a special event with your family? What kind of invitation did you receive? It might have been a card in the mail or an email or even a text or a phone call. This part of our story today is about an invitation from God to experience an incredible event, the birth of his son Jesus. This part of our story comes from the book of Luke in the New Testament. God didn't want to keep the birth of Jesus a secret. No way. God wanted to share the good news of Jesus coming with the world. But God didn't send any baby announcements in the mail. God didn't put it on Facebook either. 
When God wanted to announce the birth of Jesus, God sent angels to tell people and invite them to come and see the baby. You might think that God would want to tell the richest, most powerful people in the land that their long-awaited Savior was finally here. But that's not who God chose to tell first. Listen as I read from God's word to hear who the angels first appeared to. Luke 2, 8 through 9. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Let's keep reading to hear what the angel said about the shepherds, said to the shepherds. Luke 2, 10 through 12. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. After the angel made this announcement to the shepherds, suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those he favors. If you were one of the shepherds in the field that night, how do you think you would have reacted to all of this? Let's keep reading and find out what the shepherds did. Luke 2, 15 through 20. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. The shepherds answered God's invitation to come and see baby Jesus. Not only did they go to see him, but they also told everyone about what they had seen. The shepherds knew that this was good news, that Jesus had been born, and they wanted to share it with their friends. Finally, the shepherds returned to their sheep, and they sang praises to God as they went. The news that the angels shared with the shepherds is for us, too. God invites us to come and meet his son, Jesus. The angel told the shepherds that Jesus was a savior for all people. Our fourth reading today comes from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. 
they told him, in Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the sun star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
let us continue our worship with our offertory prayer. Blessed are you, O God, maker of all things. Through your goodness, you have blessed us with these gifts, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Use us and what we have gathered in feeding the world with your love and sharing the good news of great joy with all people. Amen. Let us continue with the Lord's Prayer. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to receive this benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. to God. Thank you. 